of people. I'm going to interject here for a second, and I'm actually sort of calling an audible here. I need to speak to the control room and ask you, live on TV, can I report this breaking news? All right, NBC vote, News yes. has yeah. breaking news, yeah. which I can now bring to you. I'm sorry, I needed to confirm that. If the answer had been no, that would have been a real quick <laughs> no, uh, NBC wow. News um, is it's projected a result in the very important Wisconsin wow. Supreme Court wow. election tonight. Uh, Janet Protasiewicz is uh, the more liberal of the two candidates. Dan Kelly, the more conservative of the two candidates. This is considered broadly to be the, the most important election in the country, the most consequential election in the country in the year 2023. Uh, as you see with these elections here, the projected winner is Janet Protasiewicz, wow. uh, the more liberal of the two judicial candidates here. This has very big consequences for Wisconsin and indeed for the country. Uh, I will just point out a couple of things here. Um, this may very well mean that there is a deciding vote in the Wisconsin Supreme Court that results in abortion being legal in Wisconsin instead of illegal. It also means that Wisconsin, which is arguably the most gerrymandered state in the country, may finally get what are considered to be fair maps rather than radical Republican maps. I will also say that the Wisconsin Supreme Court is the one Supreme Court in the nation that agreed to hear Donald Trump's challenges to the 2020 election, and it was only by one vote that they refused his demand to throw out hundreds of thousands of votes in Democratic cities in Wisconsin, thereby giving him that state's election result when he had not, in fact, won it. <laughs> uh, and now the majority on the Wisconsin Supreme Court, for the first time in more than a decade, will flip from hard right conservative control to progressive aggressive control. That is a Big. huge, huge deal, deal in yeah. Wisconsin. Today. Especially on the maps front. Look what happened over in Michigan when they started uh, when they started using actually representative maps. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, same thing might happen in this great state of Wisconsin, which would dramatically change the makeup of the Right state. now, Wisconsin, I mean, forgive me, you know this better than I do, uh, Alex, but it, Wisconsin, in terms of the popular votes, roughly 50-50 Democratic and Republican, but if the population in Wisconsin votes yes. that way, what, we, what they get, because their maps are so crazy, is basically a two-thirds, one-third yes. Republican majority, both in their state legislature, but also in their congressional delegation. And so if Wisconsin gets fair maps that actually represent the way people vote in Wisconsin, it could flip multiple seats yes. in Congress. Yes. It could flip control of Congress simply by this one result in this one Supreme Court state in this one election in Wisconsin tonight. And that basically Jake, happened in Florida, right? In the, the other direction. Yes. Illegal maps were used essentially to flip the Congress to the Republicans. The maps matter. <laughs> in yeah. short, the maps matter. And by the way, it's nice that this is, you know, national breaking news because yeah. there was a moment 10, 15 years ago when people were not tuned into why these things matter. And now the country, I think, has really woken up and is turning out. That's a big margin. And I it, think it was 14 points. I don't, I, I don't want to yeah. say that officially. I mean, it's not, it's not, we're not at the end of it, okay. but she is the projected winner. And that abortion in Roe is not this flash in the pan issue that waxed right. and waned when the opinion leaked, that it is an enduring fracture, yeah. that, that a majority of Americans still have that front of mind when they make decisions about who should win elections. And I would argue that Democrats need to rethink everything that they understood about politics from the 1990s, guns and abortion are the issues that are probably the two most powerful electoral issues. And if you don't believe that, look at what happened in the 2020 midterms when abortion, I still believe and will fight me, I believe abortion was the deciding factor in that election. And if you look at Tennessee, the next abortion level issue is guns. That's going to do it for this portion of MSNBC special coverage on this historic night. I want to thank Joy Reid for the very long day and Nicole Wallace for the super, super long day and Alex Wagner and Stephanie Rule. You still have a show to do tonight at 11 Eastern. We got lots to go. Lots to go. Lots to go.